Hey, hey, it's Ivan here. In this tech tutorial, we're going to talk about live webinars and system IO and how they work together. And I'm going to take care of a few things. So number one, you're going to learn how to do live webinars and system IO, even though it is not a feature if it is actually available on system IO at the time of recording, which is August, 2023. I'm going to show you the webinar feature in system IO in brief to show you how to do evergreen webinar. And I'm going to give you a couple of workarounds in case you are on the lower planes because the webinar plan feature is actually available on the medium plan, which is $3.96 a year. And I know that some people are not at that plan. They can't afford it. They're not ready for it. That's cool. So I'm going to give you a workaround on how you can use webinars in the free plan as well. So with that said, I'm going to share my screen quickly and show you the questions. So this is questions that I received for somebody in my tech support membership. And these are great questions. So she said, I have a webinar that I use to upsell my course. Is it best to number one, put it in the course area as a free masterclass and then share the link so people come to view it. Number two, I believe there's something in system for live webinars. Is that a better option? Number three, I have access to live webinars, which allow people to pick the time they're going to watch it. So the live webinar are actually evergreen. They're not actually live, right? So the way this works in system IO is if you are on the webinar plane, you're going to see, you're going to have the feature or the element that's called webinar registration date. Now you could do the webinar, but it's next quarter, i.e. next 15 minutes, every 15 minutes, or next half hour, every half hour, or next hour, every hour. Or you can actually choose specific times during the day. And you can see that I've picked a whole bunch of examples here. And then you can see here, it's actually going to show the times available basically. So if you click on that, you'll see that the times available is 8 a.m., 2 p.m., 7 p.m., 9 p.m., 11 p.m., which is what you see right here, okay? Now, the, the reason this works, and by the way, it's not showing the 12 midnight because it's after midnight over here. So that's why it's not showing it. So basically you've got an option to choose the different times and that way you can um, give them uh, the appearance that there is a webinar happening at specific times. So this is evergreen webinars, not live webinars. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you the email feature. So the email feature here in webinars, you could see that this is not going to be available in other squeeze pages or something like that. So if I was to click on create an email, you're going to notice here that when somebody registers to the webinar, you give them the, you send them an email. And also when the webinar starts, you can uh, do a certain email or something like that, basically. And also you can send them before the webinar starts or after the webinar starts. So you could do, let's say 10 minutes before the webinar starts or 20 minutes before the webinar, webinar starts. That's something that you can do uh, to make all the reminders and stuff like that. You can also email the webinar replay and the webinar show. Now, if you want me to actually record a full tutorial on setting up an entire webinar funnel from A to Z in system IO, leave a comment with the word webinars and I will do so. Okay. So that's how the webinars in system IO works. Now the workaround is that you simply create a squeeze page just like so. And you see this squeeze page just has a little webinar with a masterclass and somebody could just join. Right. Um, and, and that's that really simple, just the way it would work any other way. And then you will do a masterclass or webinar event basically. And then you're going to use in this case, the opt-in thank you option. Okay. That's option number one. Option number two is you are going to use the order form. Now, why would you use the order form? I'm going to show you exactly why. So you're going to pick a specific sale um, order form. Just as a, I'm just going to pick this one for, for example, I'm going to click on edit page. And then what you're going to do is you're going to delete what's at the top. You're going to see that there is this section at the bottom, and then you're going to do add a section at the top, and then you're going to add a video here. And this is going to be the webinar basically. Now the way this webinar, what I suggest you do is you actually upload the file. Now I'm just going to add a file just for demonstration purposes. Okay. Now in this particular video, you're going to make it autoplay and you're going to keep the controls off. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to do this webinar. Basically you'll make this a little bit smaller, but this section where they actually pay, let's say the point on the webinar where you're actually going to make the pitch to buy is 30 minutes into the webinar on this section. And you're going to scroll down and you're going to click on delay before displaying. This is how many seconds. So 60 seconds multiply by 30 minutes is 1,800 seconds. So you're going to type in one eight zero zero 
save changes. Now, where you're going to do the webinar, you're going to see the video, but you're not going to see this section right here. So this is not going to be visible at all until the moment of the video. Now, there is one drawback, is that if they happens to speed up the video, that's going to be an issue. Although, if you're making the controls not visible, it's not going to be, they're not gonna be able to speed up the video. So it's really going to be like an evergreen webinar. So that's how you can basically do a workaround webinar, evergreen webinar using system IO, even if you're not on the webinar plan, basically. But it's not going to be like starting in 10 minutes, it's, or starting in an hour, or starting in five hours, it's going to be instantaneous, okay? So in terms of answering the question of what would be the best way, I wouldn't really do that in a, a course area. I just think that's too complicated because they have to create a password and all that, it's too much friction. Um, you can do uh, the webinar feature like I showed you using the webinar. Um, although I will say that my personal preference is definitely actually the workaround is actually my favorite way. Unless you want to create a bit more of a, I don't know, like a, a live webinar experience basically, then yes, you would use that, okay? Now, there's also something you can do with deadline funnels. Again, if you, wanna, if you want me to record a video on deadline funnels, then leave a comment with the word deadline, and I will be sure to record a tutorial on that as well, if that's something you are interested in, okay? Now, the last thing I wanna cover is how to do a real live webinar, where you're actually going to do it like on Zoom or something like that. Now, personally, the live webinars that I like to do, and I did live webinars, live summits and all that, and I basically use wave.video to do that. And I embed it on System.io, at least when I did um, uh, the summit. So if you go to around.link forward slash wave video, it's gonna take you to Wave Video. And Wave Video is a great platform that you can use to stream things, basically. Now, if you click on My Streams and Recordings, you're going to set up a webinar right here, or you can set up a live stream. Set up a webinar means that you can actually embed the webinar inside System.io, and the webinar is going to be there live. So you can actually do like a, a launch event or a summit or something like that. Or my preference is to actually do that on set up a live stream, which is to me a better option because that way I can actually schedule, you'll notice, I can actually schedule things. Okay, demo, let's just do a little demo. I can actually schedule things to my Facebook pages and also my YouTube channel and Twitch and all that stuff. So I personally prefer that because that way I get exposure on YouTube. Now, if you wanna see a little bit about how that works, all you gotta do is go to landingpagechallenge.com uh, sign up for my free checklist and then you're going to see all the previous webinars that I've run live on my YouTube channel as well. And all these webinars are run primarily through wave.video and that's what I personally use. So that's about it. That's my recommendation to you. You can of course run your webinars on Facebook. Just do a Facebook Live. That's another option. You can also do use Zoom. That's another option. Uh, personally, that's what I've used is wave.video and also the evergreen strategy with system basically. So that's about it. Hope you got value from this video. Again, you want a tutorial on deadline funnels, leave a comment with the word deadline. You want a tutorial on the webinar feature specifically, setting up a webinar from A to Z, leave a comment with the word webinar. That's about it. Thanks a lot for watching. And this question came from somebody who is in my tech support membership, by the way. And my tech support membership is designed to answer questions in under 24 hours. You can see a video somewhere around here where it's gonna to explain to you how that works. And I love um, answering these types of questions because I get questions which I can't answer in an email and I have to record a video like this to really explain and I really appreciate those types of questions because um, I'm sending this video immediately to, to my member. So they already uh, have seen this video already. And then this video goes to my video editor who's going to edit this video and this is what the video you're actually watching on my YouTube channel. So um, that takes a little bit longer for people to see and my members get under 24 hour support and guidance on their questions. So um, anyway, if you wanna check it out, you can go to iran.link forward slash DCT to learn more about the tech support membership. Or if you wanna check out the other tiers of my membership, go to iran.link forward slash join. That's about it, thanks all for watching, I really appreciate you. You'll see another playlist here about System.io. And uh, yeah, that's about it, speak to you soon, cheers.